I come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. Hey now, God bless you all over today. Let me share with you something I found out. I found out you're not to be a tower of steel, but a growing tree that provides covering and bends in the storm. I found out you're not to be like a ruler but a servant who humbly seeks the success of others. I found out also it's best to stay out of a hurry because when you hurry, you always run past more than you catch up with. When you rush, you rust. The secret of achievement is to not let what you're doing get to you before you get to it. Proverbs 16, 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. Dad, you are who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Yahuwah, God. 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 1, 4. We are comforted and comfortable and we thank you again for it. We want all to be comforted, especially the brothers and sisters that are detained right now because of race or for whatever reason. You know the people our government is playing chess with, their lives to build a wall to keep people out of this country, this country where we are all immigrants. Dad, I know you have it all under control. Oh, when I think of them wanting to build a wall and all the pain they are causing innocent families with young children. I think of Esther 710. So they hanged Haman. So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified Dad, please bless the immigrants. We thank you and give you all the praise and all the glory forever. Thank you for hearing my prayer in the name of Yahushua. I pray, I thank you, I love you, Dad. Behold, like the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. Jeremiah 18, 6. There's something inherently painful in realizing that God is working on us. That there's something about us that doesn't quite please him or fit 
his purpose. It hurts to think we fall short. But as our great potter, Yahuwah sees the process differently. He works on us because he sees potential in us and has something important in mind for our lives. It is actually a great honor because he is continuously molding us into the image of his son, giving us an appearance that is unmistakably his with increasing faith, capacity for his power, wisdom, and endurance. In other words, the Father applies his discipline to our lives, not out of anger or frustration, but out of his unconditional love and a wonderful vision of our place in his kingdom. It isn't something we should fear. Rather, we should embrace it as making us more worthwhile more valuable and more effective. So don't grow frustrated as God molds you. Instead, ask him to show you what he is forming in you. Accept his leadership and grow stronger in him. It is for your own self's good. Obey my voice and I will be your God and you will be my people and you will walk in all the way which I command you that it may be well with you. Jeremiah 7, 23. Don't ignore God. When he brings his truth to mind, when he convicts you of some behavior or shows you something in his word, don't disregard what he's saying. Rather, obey him immediately. He is communicating with you for your own good. When we ignore Yahuwah, we are the one who suffer because we miss an opportunity for blessing. This is because God is our wise and loving Father, and He wants us to be completely free from anything that could hinder or ensnare us. Of course, we might think He is a cruel taskmaster because of the things He asks us to give up, but nothing could be further from the truth. The Lord Yahuwah is a loving God who cares for you, hears your cries, carries your burdens, heals your wounds, and understands your fears. And he realizes that when you obey him, trust in his love, and experience his liberty, the bondage of sin will fall away. So listen to him, give him your heart, and do whatever he asks you, because certainly you will be blessed. And remember, you're not done yet. Hey now, when you pray to him, you might want to say to him, Dad, I thank you. Oh, I trust you not only to mold me into something useful for your service, but to form your image in me. I thank you. Oh, I trust you because everything you do for me is out of love for me. I thank you for helping me obey you always. Thank you for giving me the understanding to know that you only speak for my good. I thank you. I love you. In Yahushua's mighty name. Oh, I love you.
you be blessed now, yeah?